condition number three, the manner of eating. Any action pro uh, prohibited in the Torah is uh, prohibited only when the action is performed in normal manner. So everything in a normal manner. So we have to define what eating is. Any action performed in unusual or unnatural manner has no halachic validity. One more time, any action performed in an unnatural or unusual manner has no halachic validity. Okay, so what does it mean? Thus, one who eats prohibited food in unnatural manner uh, has not transgressed the Torah law. Some possible application of principle are. Okay, so what is it? Unnatural, un, uh, um, unusual manner. Okay. A. Swallow hot, scalding food uh, is not considered an act of eating. And uh, there are some sages that actually did so. And they burned their throat because they did not, they, they knew that they have to eat. And, uh, but they did not want to take any enjoyment from this world. Okay. So don't try it at home, but that's, that's not eating. However, swallowing food without uh, chewing um, is, is considered with the criteria of natural eating. Okay, so if very hot, if, if somebody is like uh, scalding, um, swallowing hot, scalding food, is not considered act of eating, but uh, swallowing without chewing is eating. So I guess uh, some small things people don't, don't swallow. They, they, they don't chew, just swallow. Okay. Continue. B. Authorities disagree whether or not eating raw meat constitutes a natural uh, eating act. So that's a good example. In, in olden days, in uh, in uh, in the Talmud, uh, they, they they discussed like uh, sages were they were chewing on the meat because of I don't know some stomach issues, something, right? But today nobody um, like I guess I don't want to say don't say no, but most of people do not eat meat. So this when somebody eats uh, this raw meat for whatever reason, so it's not uh, it's not considered to be eaten. C. Eating foods into which a repugnant matter has been added, causing it to, to become inedible. It is not considered act of eating. So commentaries say, uh, even if only as a result of repulsive order. Yeah, be good. One second, one second. Um, commentaries say, Ram, Rambam, 14.11, if uh, the food itself spoiled or rotten, uh, therefore become inedible it is um, it's completely loses the status of forbidden food right so meaning it's not at this point if it's completely run it's not considered to be food so it's not only he's not eating it's not food okay it's like uh, somebody swallow a piece of paper or a napkin i don't know okay so and also when it uh, smells bad like most people not going to eat it it's not considered to be eaten. And uh, just uh, just so we know, as, as we learn in our class, Halachas uh, of Brachas, uh, let's say we're talking about, here we're talking about forbidden food. But even if it is uh, food that, uh, the kosher food originally, so you, you don't, you do not say blessing. On, on these foods, we do not say blessing. On kosher, but rotten or like spoiled or with a bad smell. Okay. So next one, example D. Uh, glutonous eating is not considered natural act of eating. One who has uh, overeaten <laughs> to the degree that uh, he feels uh, uh, revulsion toward the food and subsequently eat non-kosher food has not uh, transgressed the Torah prohibition, which is very interesting. It's from Talmud Yoma 88, 80B, sorry. It's very interesting. So a person overate and now he ate uh, for not kosher for, for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. So it's not considered to be eaten. Okay. If, however, he's merely fully satiated, but feels no uh, revulsion toward food. Okay. So he still wants to eat. Uh, the subsequent uh, eating is considered a natural act of eating. So if he discussed with the food, but ate for whatever reason, uh, non-kosher food, it's not considered to be eaten. But if he is not discussed with the food, dis like dis discussing the food in general, I mean, not in general, but it, because of his current uh, situation. Okay. Next one, food in wrappings. Uh, eating food in uh, that, that was wrapped in a, in a non non food uh, wrapping is not considered the act of eating. 
So, so we finished with the list, but uh, that, that's, uh, that's one of the ways that, uh, that we do. For example, somebody needs to, to take a pill and it, uh, it's uh, like a, from, from the gelatin, uh, the, the capsule with the gelatin. So, okay, and uh, there is no cautious substitution. And that's what person must do. So some, some authorities suggest wrapping uh, like um, facial tissue right, the bathroom tissue, or whatever, like a little piece, so it's covered, so for like uh, with uh, this, uh, the, the, the last option, and then swallow, so it's, for sure, when, when you swallow, it's not a matter of eating, for sure, and plus you, you have double, double precaution, okay. Mm -hmm.